Amen. Back in those times, 
they also in uh, a bit afraid or they, they also in the uh, big fear because looks like uh, it couldn't happen looks like uh, maybe it's just uh, a story or maybe it's just uh, yeah it's it's true jesus was uh, tell tell them about that but maybe it's it's not true because they they uh, if you guys remember when uh, the 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 ladies the disciple the special the ladies they, they went to the to the pump and then uh, no more jesus and there's an angel and say oh okay, he's not here anymore he 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 rose and then uh, he's not here anymore uh and then uh, they the, the ladies uh they they run and then they they tell uh, about the good story this good story to the other to the friend to the, the other disciple but uh for them it's like is it true or not so uh, from the uh, after the uh, after the uh, crucified a story and then uh, jesus rose again uh, come to the ascension day. It's uh, it's around uh, how many days? If we count, we count from from last uh, April. So it's like a very very interesting uh, waiting season for them. But today we're gonna see the amazing waiting, amazing waiting for them. And I don't know, maybe uh, all of you, all of us here, or maybe some of us, or maybe only me. Me <laughs> you? waiting. Okay, can I know? Husband. <laughs> what is for? Amen. Amen. A boyfriend, boyfriend. I give you the microphone. Yeah. Uh, this is the the thing. Uh, okay. Forget the amazing first. This is the thing that I, I I really don't like it. I don't like to wait. But I don't know why God always put his children in the waiting season. I don't know why. What's oh yes. Um, she already gives some. Uh, are you okay, Nisha? Okay, yeah. Yes. In your waiting season, <laughs> so she's now in waiting season. Oh, husband, you don't want to talk to just now. And then, I don't know. Maybe uh, some of us, like me and Pastor, we are in waiting season or something. And yeah, Jess, what, what is your waiting season now? Because he's getting ready to graduate. Every day, Sam and me getting bored with me because I always text. Text her just please do that, do that, do this, do that. Yeah, I don't know, but just just believe when God asks to do to do something, to wait for something, He will be the one who will fulfill it. Amen. 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 Amazing waiting. Okay, let's see. No worries, I will not talk to We have to. Okay, we are all have our own waiting season, and God is creating an amazing waiting story for that. Amen. Amen. Mm, yeah. It's not easy to wait, huh? What no, happened to the sense. disciples on their waiting season? Uh, I suggest uh, you guys read at home about this uh, story. But I'm pretty sure uh, you guys all know about this story. Okay. They met Jesus himself without realizing it. Luke 24, verse 14 to 15. Hmm. They were talking with each other about everything that had happened. As they talked and discussed these things with each other, Jesus himself came up and walked along with them. But they were kept on recognizing recognize him. Okay. So while the disciple on the way uh, from Jerusalem to Emmaus, they are talking about what happened to Jesus. Ah, oh, he died. He died already. And what what gonna happen to us? He promised to do this. He promised to to rose again. He, he promised to do this, to do that. Is it really true? But yeah, we believe it's really true. Yeah, that's what that's what they talk about. And without realizing, Jesus already with them. So on the way, they met Jesus himself with a relation. There's some, some uh, lessons we need to learn from this thing. Sometimes fo focus on all things that happen will give no space for Jesus himself. Not amen, yeah? Not amen. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, you know sometimes if we talk too much, think too much about all the things that God promised and then oh he promised to make me success on 2021. Yeah. He promised to give me husband on May 2021. Or he promised this or oh Jesus oh God called me to serve him. God called, yeah, we busy talk about it. It's a good thing. But sometimes, you know, when you are busy with the promise, we forgot with the one who gave the promise. Amen? That's what happened to the disciple. They didn't realize that Jesus already with them. Sometimes we didn't realize even. God already with us. Walk in the line that will lead us to the promise. That will lead us to what God wants us to do. That will lead us to the purpose of our life. He's already with us. But we are still busy with, uh, he said we're going to do this. He said we're going to do that. You know, sometimes because we also have another expectation with that expectation. We want, uh, he promised uh, we're going to have, I, I will be like this. I want to be like this. And that promise, he will, he will make it true. And uh, what we know, like, we need to, to do this step, that step, that step, to reach that point. But God is doing this step to reach that point. You know what I mean? And he's already with us to go there. So we, we are using our our uh, own own plan that sounds good, that looks good, and it's good, of course, but sometimes it's not what God wants us to do. So just make sure. The most important thing we know and we have, uh, we need to be very sensitive uh, with uh, Jesus himself. With the presence of God, because sometimes we we we, we you know our, our our mind will be very uh, occupied with the things that looks good rather than uh, himself. Because what's the point? We have what uh, we will get what he wants us, uh, us to get, but we. We, we cannot have him himself again. Okay. You know what I mean? So the most important thing, if we have a good relationship with him, we will be very sensitive with his way. We will be very sensitive. Sometimes it looks like, oh, uh, I think this is the, the good way. I think uh, because God said, I'm going to success, I'm going to uh, have a, a, a house this year. So I think this is the time. This is the time. So my, my loan will be like this, like that. And then I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Without realizing, God already prepared with uh, his own way. But we, we didn't realize it. We forgot to keep the relationship, the intimacy with him. We forgot. We miss it. Just like the two disciples. They didn't, they didn't realize that Jesus already with him. Then I hope today... While we are in a waiting season, just keep the, the relationship, the intimacy with God. Just keep it. And we will see, there's amazing thing will happen while we wait what he promises to, to, to with the house. Second one. Their eyes were covering so they can't recognize him. Ah, it's a guess. Let's see, uh, verse 16 and 31. Yeah, but they were kept from recognizing him. And verse 31, it says, It says, God finally re revealed what happened at that. Sometimes God allow our eyes to be covered first for us to be amazed on the day when He reveal it. Sometimes we, uh, while we waiting for God promise, we feel like God leave us. We feel like very bright. You know, as a as a, a pastor, uh, yeah, we preach every every Sunday and 
when someone uh, send message like, uh, oh. Pastor, uh, we oh. are like this and we give solution. Wow, oh. he looks like a superhero. But you know, there's many times, uh, for me, I felt right. And uh, the other, like, the other people feel blessed with me. Nice. But myself, I didn't feel it. I said, what? What kind of message? Thank you, Pastor. Thank you for praying for me. Thank you. Now I'm cheer up again. Oh, thank you because you pray. Now my, my, my boss pay, pay my money. <laughs> thank you because you you pray. I'm healed. But but myself, I feel like dry. I feel like I become more like this, like this, like this. And I just want to run away from from my calling. And I just, I just, uh, can I have my own time? <laughs> and then when I read this uh, uh, Bible verse, I, I realized sometimes that allow like, uh, our eyes uh, covering so feels like he's not with us but he is actually so if we, we are in this uh, kind of situation if everybody around us or the church or our boss or yeah everybody around us still feel blessed with us but we are the only one don't feel blessed no worries just hang on <laughs> no worries because he's there, it's on purpose. Just like the two disciples, just like this disciple, if you, you guys read the, the Bible first. God do it on purpose. So if any one of you, any one of us uh, feels like, seems like he leave us, don't leave him. <laughs> just hang on there, just, okay, yeah, just wait, just wait. It's hard, but can, rather than it can be hard. It's hard, but can. The last point. There's another picture there. <laughs> the third one. They keep in a circle of their community. Okay. Church is about community. There is no amazing waiting story when there is only you in your story. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Why we need community? Why I need ATLs? Why I keep message Sister Paloma? Why I keep bothering uh, Sister Jess? Why I keep saying hi to Sister Juby? Because I need community. And there is no amazing wedding story if there's only me in the story. You know what? Even though the disciples, they look they looks, uh, worried, they uh, like lose the faith, but they still keep together. They don't run away from the community. Because at the end of the of the of this story, Jesus revealed himself while they are gathering together. If you run away, there is no any good day that time. Amen. <laughs> why we need one why 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 I'm so uh, like in a group sometimes maybe you feel like what pastoral looks so ugly like messed like this, messed like this. Because I need <laughs> I just <laughs> When God give you uh, uh, His promise to me, it's happen when I'm I'm in the church community. It's not happen when I'm with the neighbor. Don't go around with your neighbor. There's no salvation there. <laughs> neighbor, I mean, with unbeliever. So what I mean is like, <laughs> just keep in the community. It's not easy, of course. You know, sometimes only two of us, only three, or sometimes like this. We are on the mood, but the other one not in the mood. We are not in the mood, the other one is in the mood. Sometimes all of you guys not in the mood, only me and Pastor are in the mood. <laughs> sometimes all of us, you guys are on the mood, me and Pastor are so tiring, but we need to come to the like, But yeah, that's community. And there's a blessing there, man. Amen. There's a blessing there. Okay, there's three point. That's all only. We're getting ready to go to eat. <laughs> there are three point. So what? What? You want to go back? The first one. Yeah. Ah. Oh, okay. The title. The title. Yes. Yes. Design. Oh, the other. Oh, the other one. Design. Yes. Okay. Okay, that's it. So, what are you waiting for? Eat. Eat? Yeah. It gives me amazing waiting. What is that? <laughs> let's end the story. Let's end the amazing waiting with the, the 
you know we are more than the counter, man. Yeah? That's what the Bible says. So uh, I don't know. Like uh, waiting is not easy, and waiting is so boring. But if if that's what God wants us to do, then just do it. There's another way. Just do it. And even though you try, even though you feel feelings, you he never leave you. That's patient. <laughs> I really don't like waiting, but I can see how God do many things, amazing things in my waiting season. Hallelujah. Let us stand up. Uh, can you sing again the song, and I will give it to Pastor.
Sisters, as we uh, end our service today, I'd like to call you to raise your hands and receive the blessing from the Father in heaven and the joy and peace and love from our Lord Jesus Christ, together with the strength that we we'll receive through the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. In the name of Jesus, we pray. And everybody say, Amen. Hallelujah. Happy Sunday. Happy Mother's Day. God bless. To harvest. And we will all go directly to harvest to have our dinner.